All right, so I'm gonna show you these strobe lights. Now you get two of these, like I showed you there right in the beginning. You will see that they are connected together and you can easily disconnect them if you need to. Now inside the box, you're gonna get eight of these suction cups. You're gonna to need to put four on each one. So uh, pretty much each opening here and you'll put the four. It also does come with these adhesive stickers that you can put inside the suction cup just for added stability on your windshield. So if you're gonna be using this for longer periods of time, you're gonna be in like a work vehicle, a work truck, something like that, you can use those just to keep it on there a little better. And this does come with a controller unit and it does come with a sticky tape on here so you can stick it right to your dash. And then everything is powered through a 12 volt cigarette lighter plug, which also has its own switch for power. And you're just gonna put these suction cups on here, just like so, like I mentioned. And then you'll just stick it up on your dash and you can adjust the angle on this if you need to. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of the suction cups on here. I'll get them on the dash and then I'll give you a quick demonstration of the lights. All right, so I have everything put together and I have everything up. Now I didn't run the wires yet, so keep that in mind. But I also wanted to show you the all the cords and how long they are as well. So like right now I have both the lights in and uh, the cord that connects both the lights together they're actually pretty long. There's a huge gap in between. So you will have to move that around and hide it somewhere. Uh, but this allows you to move these into a, a large area. So you can use these in a lot of different applications, a lot of different vehicles, larger vehicles. Also the cords for everything else is also very long. Uh, so like the DC port, it's plugged in in the back seat. I don't have one in my front. Also the cord for the controller is really long as well. I mean, this cord is really long. I'm all the way over here in the front of the truck. I mean, if you want a long cord for your control unit, I mean, you got it. Wow. Now I want to show you the controller a little bit before I put the camera in front of the truck. That way you can see the controller before I start playing with the lights and then I'll show you how the light strobes work. Uh, you do have different arrows that you can go through. Now this has a lot of different modes to it and you can also do patterns, you can do custom and uh, of course you could power it on and off through here. You can power it on and off through the 12 volt plug, uh, but this is gonna be your main controller unit. So you can also have them go different directions. So you can have them go inwards. You can have them kind of go outwards. Uh, you can have them both go the same direction. You got all those different options. I guess I could show you more of the control unit here. So like number one, so it's on number one right now, which is gonna be pretty much solid lights. So if we hit the pattern button, we got, you just can go through all the numbers. There's 30 something patterns. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and give you some footage at night just to show you how bright it does get. Uh, you can definitely see it during the day, but it does get pretty bright at night. Anyway, that's my quick demonstration of the emergency strobe light system. Hopefully that gives you a good idea what to expect with this one and if this is something that you need for your vehicle. Anyway, thank you for watching.